Hello everyone and welcome back to the Myth Playthrough of Wizard 101, episode 220. We are attempting Luther Ray boss fight again. I got defeated in the last episode at the end. Uh, so just did the first solo attempt and um, yeah, just didn't want to take up too much time in the video. So I'm going to be attempting it again. I teamed up and I got someone to help me for this boss fight. So we will go ahead and do that. I hope everyone is enjoying their day today. Stay up to date on the channel. Click on the like button for more Myth playthrough videos. If you like Wizard 101 and Pirates 101, subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell so that you'll know when I post Wizard and Pirates videos daily. I also live stream four days a week, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Uh, don't forget, uh, this Thursday, which will be tomorrow, will be Safaria. We'll be doing Safaria on Death of Fire Wizard. So, that'll be the next world of the second arc. Hoping we're gonna be done with Agrippon. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we're still gonna be here. Who knows? Who knows? Got my blade on. I wish I used one of my one hits. I forgot that he did that. Minus 40. Oh well. Shadow Pip. Okay. Let me get rid of that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and play it up again. But he won't get rid of that faint for whatever he'll do. Okay. I do have a shadow pip. She is hitting. Yeah, might as well just go for it and see how much we can do. This is the next spell for my Ice Wizard at level 108. I 
think I should, yeah. Yep, he's done. We got him. common good and the rule of law and with the full authority I have as your sultana be gone snake and never return Ahmad peace Ali baboon I trust that I still have your commitment to my terms uh, yes sultana yes your majesty you have Ali baboon's undying loyalty and you genie have my undying admiration um master are we done here indeed Wizard, Ozzy, let us rejoin the others back in my true home, Kasra Palace. All right, we got it done. Yay! Okay. Heading to Kasra Palace. That must be it. Alright. <laughs> well done, everyone! If I could only have a portrait painted to capture the look on Luther Ray's face, it was a priceless moment. Swan, it seems you took back the palace with minimal difficulty. I cannot express my gratitude for your part in all of this. The Hoods and I were honored to do our part. And as you requested, we are further honored to serve as your security forces from now on. Excellent. Wizard, Ozzy, you came here seeking assistance for Caravan in defending Mirage from the Overlord Xerxes. I have not forgotten. I fear, however, that even with the combined might of Caravan and Agrabah, we may be outmatched. We will need the help of the House Cats. The Noble Houses were the first rulers of Mirage, and they still retain great power. The cat's petty squabbling won't make this easy, however. Oh, 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 I know! I can handle negotiations. I can go through the house genie who serve each of the house cat lords. Hmm. It's fine to open negotiations that way, but the wizard should be lead negotiator. In fact, Istar, treat the wizard as your master for now. Oh, okay. Smart thinking, as always. You're so wise, master. I mean, Sultana. I think this will actually be quite enjoyable. All right, my new master. I'll go on to the Agouti Rift and open negotiations with Murdak, the genie to house Tabby. I'll see you there. If she's going, how about I sit the cat bit out? Allergies, you know, and with these dry sinuses, I'd rather just stay here with the Sultana. I'd like that. Wizard, inform your friends in caravan of our plans, and then join Istar in Catawar Canyons. My hopes go with you. Okay, we finally got done with Agrabah. And we're going to be heading to the House Cats. First one will be in Counter Counter <laughs> Wall Canyons. Yes, I think that's right. I don't know. Welcome back to Caravan Wanderer. I hear dark tidings from the Sand Sea. Xerxes rallies his armies for war. We must be ready when he comes. What news from Agrabah? They will join us in fighting the Overlord. This is a tremendous relief. Ah, but the Sultana says this is not enough. <laughs> and then she is indeed wiser than was the King of Thieves. I agree with her assessment. Yes, of course. Do as the Sultana suggests. An alliance with the House Cats will be our best chance to withstand the Overlord's onslaught. You will find the Agouti Rift south of here in the Catawall Canyon. The sands have settled and the way is clear. Winds be with you, wanderer. All right. We'll head to Catterwall Canyons. The next area of Mirage. Yeah, well, 
meet the people there and try to convince them about Overlord Xerxes. I believe we're gonna collect the Chrono Shard as well, from what I'm trying to remember. Big place. All right, down we go. We'll go find Istar. There she is. Oh, thank the stars. Master, I hope you'll forgive me. I think I made an itsy bitsy boo boo. Everyone's mad at me, even the house genie. You see, it's kind of awkward. The Lord of House Tabby passed away without an heir, and there's a catfight over who gets the lordship. The Lord's cousin, Count Kral, has seized control of Tabby Manor to assert his claim, but he was not very friendly when I talked to him. House Persian is House Tabby's vassal, and they've attacked the manor, asserting their own claim. So, I had an idea that we would support them. But then I remembered they're the ones who resurrected Xerxes, so that's not good for us. I went back to Count Kral, but now he's really angry. So, I need to teleport back in and try to convince Count Kral to meet with you. Meantime, try to convince the gate guard to let you in. Okay. Captain Kate. Stay back, stranger. It may not be obvious to you, but Tabby Manor is under siege. Until House Persian retreats, we're admitting no visitors. You're with the genie from Agraba? All the more reason not to trust you. I heard she was supporting House Persian's claim. Oh, so now she's changed her mind. And I'm to believe you? Look, you want in? Defeat some House Persian assailants. Then we can talk. Alright, let me switch to my attack deck. Oh, goodness. Got multiple decks. Okay. Alright. We just need two. Alright. Just like before, Reliquary or Frenzy, and then... You certainly seem to know your way around a dual circle. I'm impressed. And I suppose it's clear you have no loyalty to House Persian. It seems your genie friend has also convinced Count Crowell of her change of heart. The Count sent word that you're cleared for entry. You'll find the Count and the Jinn inside the manor's great hall. I hope you're able to help settle the Count's claim to the Lordship. All right, let's head on in. There they are. Ah, so this is the negotiator you've been telling us about, Istar. I was expecting a powerful, intimidating wizard, but this one, not so much. I can assure you from personal experience, Count Kral, my master is very wise and strong, and in my opinion, has terrific fashion sense. Oh, well, such as fitting for an ambassador to House Tabby. I still remember a time when this manor saw a veritable parade of kings and queens. 
Oh, thank you, Murdak, for the trip down memory lane. Now, Wizard, as to your agenda, unfortunately, we have little room to negotiate. House Tabby doesn't dirty its paws with the affairs of the desert dwellers. We are quite safe and happy here in the Aguti Rift. Oh, yes, and with this claim unsettled, the Count hasn't the authority. I go now to ask why the Bene Gesserit refused to officially ordain him. Oh, we can help with that. Like I said, my master is a terrific negotiator. We'll get this resolved in a jiffy. Come on, master. Let's go along. All right, then. Go to Gesserit Council Hall. see okay Any inside oh dear I'm not so sure about this master I hear the Reverend Mother is not so nice either but I couldn't think of anything else maybe if we convince her to approve the Count's claim he'll owe us and then maybe oh I don't know master I'll just be quiet sounds good to me Reverend Mother. As I was just reminding Murdak, you're all wasting your time. I will never approve Count Crowell's claim to the Lordship of Tabby Manor. You must understand, we sisters of the Bini Gesserit are the keepers of the breed. We've overseen the lineage of House Tabby for centuries. Count Crowell may be the highest ranking contender for the Lordship, but genetically he is not the proper heir. That would be Paul Atreides. Paul is of pure bloodlines, and we have tested him for this role since he was a kitten. Even now, he faces his final trials in the desert. If you truly wish to expedite the ordination, then go to the Eastern Dunes and assist him. Then the succession can be conducted properly. Um, all right, I guess? Murdak, you're the house genie. Does this sound right to you? Oh, yes, yes, I suppose. Now that I think about it, the Bene Gesserit do traditionally decide such matters. This might be the proper thing. All right, fine. Master, you should seek out this Paul Atreides in the Eastern Dunes. I'll stay here and try to keep everyone focused. Oh, okay, then. Fine by me. Head to the Eastern Dunes and find this Paul Atreides. Okay, so we're gonna head on back up. Well, I'm not sure how much of Catterwall Canyons I'll do today. So we'll see how it goes. Unless if there may be a cheat boss, that may depend. Um, no, just depend on the battles. I think I may remember this. The eastern dunes stretch out to a distant horizon. Unremarkable, but for a deep, quiet, droning sound and the hint of spice on the wind. Among the dunes, you spot a lone fellow traveler, a cat in regal attire. This must be Paul Atreides. Right, we'll go ahead and talk to him. Greetings, Wayfarer. I can't imagine what dire cause drives you for this desolate place, unless, like myself, your destiny enjoys a cruel twist. Ah, so you were sent, lest the illusion of serendipity was arranged by the Reverend Mother, just as everything else I've known. Forgive me if I seem ungrateful. Your help is appreciated as much as it is needed. What irks me is just the deliberateness of it all. And yes, I know, the Lord's passing necessitates my return, but Bini Jesuit law demands I first pass the trial of the sandworms. In truth, the trial is more monotonous than difficult. I've gathered ten dozen wormling scales. If you will get a few more, it will be done. 
All right then. The three of them to the feet. Pretty sure, yeah. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna have to go through a dungeon and deal with a boss fight. And I believe there is a puzzle that we'll have to solve. And yeah, the puzzle just seems pretty difficult. So I. I don't, I don't know, I think I might just save it for next episode because, honestly, I don't even know what the code is. <laughs> so, if any of you know what the code is, uh, let me know. Because it's just really confusing. So that's why I think it'd just be best if, to just do it for next episode. Two, three, just one more. One more to the feet. Still be dead. Oh, never mind. Is he blocked? Of course. Okay, now, now it's GG. Get this last one, and we did. Okay. Thank you. I would have sooner pulled out my whiskers than defeated another wormling. But the Bene Gesserit laws are now satisfied. Things were once different, you know. In ancient times, cat heroes defeated the great worms to prove themselves. But those days are long gone. The Bene Gesserit decreed that the great worms were sacred and started this tradition to collect wormling scales instead. Nowadays, the great worm melange has free reign here. Indeed, we avoid these dunes for fear of the monster. It's embarrassing, really. Hmm, perhaps, yes. The Bene Gesserit would never sanction it, but I would like to prove myself in the ancient way. I would defeat melange, indeed. Before I return to accept the Lordship, I must do this with your help. Venture into the cavern of the worm with me. Come, this way. Okay. Yeah, so... Yeah, it's gonna be difficult to do. So I think I'll save that for next time. So I'm gonna end the episode for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Click on the like button for more myth playthrough videos. If you like Wizard 101 and Pirates 101, subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell so that you'll know when I post Wizard and Pirates videos daily, I also live stream four days a week, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And with that, 
Have a wonderful day today, and I'll see you guys next time.